watching this. I'm Allie B. Mac, aka Shrek. Somebody wants Moving on, you are watching my first look at Harvest Moon Light of Hope. I remember really loving the Harvest Moon games when I was younger, so I'm going to try to go into this with an open mind and not compare it to Stardew Valley. Much. Uh, with that in mind, let's get right into the game. Okay, okay, going into this judgment free. I'm not gonna wonder why that witch on the left is wearing a weird bikini thing. I'm not wondering that at all. But there are the, the dogs are very cute, so that's a good sign. Main character. Confirm. Ooh, can I choose hairstyles and stuff? Uh, please enter name. Allie? Nope, that's not how I spell it. There we go. <gasps> or do we want to do something? No, no, we're gonna... This isn't a joke. This is a first look. But maybe if I do a full run through, we'll do a joke name. Suggestions in the comment section below. Oh, no. It's so rainy. I don't know what voice this is. It was a dark and stormy night. Laid in my castle somewhere one night. The monster mash! Ba -da -da -da. Yep, that was the monster mash. This reminds me of the beginning of Zelda. Uh, which game that's like... Not uh, It's like Force... It's something to do with Seasons. Nope, it doesn't remind me of that. I don't know what I'm talking about. Hello, nerd. Oh, um, well, phew. I'm glad you're finally awake. Oh, uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm terrible at doing character voices, so if you have suggestions, I would greatly appreciate it. Are you okay? Are you hurt anywhere? Hmm? Oh, there's nothing to worry about. You can relax, this is my home. Oh, um, okay, I pass out. I don't know what I was doing, but I pass out and I wake up in some... Don't worry. You're in my home. You're safe now. This isn't that Stephen King novel where I cut off your feet so you don't escape. I found you lying in front of my doorstep. Maybe you were caught in yesterday's terrible storm. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. I should have introduced myself first. My name is Jean. I've lived on this island, and I'm training to become an herbal doctor. I'm also the lighthouse keeper. Huh. That's right. There's a magnificent lighthouse here. That's the reason why it's called Beacon Town. Um, so, would it be okay if I asked you your name? I'm mute. That's great. Allie, I see. That's a very nice name. Would she have said it was a very nice name if I said my name was Bill Butlicker? Sorry, I thought it was a little strange. You see, when I found you in front of my house, someone had already treated your wounds and covered you in a blanket. And left me there to get kidnapped by a, an herbal doctor. My guess is that somebody actually brought you here. Hmm. <laughs> huh, wait, so you mean you think you remember who helped you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. Hmm, a girl with blue eyes and short purple hair. Hey, that's probably uh the witch who was in a bikini thing earlier, right? I don't think I know her. There aren't many people left on this island, so I'd probably know if I'd seen her before. <laughs> that's right, there are only a few of us left on the island now because of a big storm that came by several years ago. It would be nice to see the town go back to how it once was, but as I said, there aren't many people left. I mean, like, these little guys are cute. It's fine. Wait, what? You're saying you want to live here? We do? We don't want to go home? Mm -hmm. We do want to live here. Of course, you're welcome to do so. I'll even show you a place where I think you might be able to live. Well, here we are. This is the farm. Oh, these graphics are not beautiful. Oh, it's a little rough. It's a little rough. Could be worse. I mean, it could also be better, but it could be worse. It's, I think the problem is that, um, the characters, like, it doesn't look like it fits there. 
You know what I mean? I know what you're thinking. It doesn't look like a farm, and you're right. But I'm sure you'll be able to live on it once you've tilled the land. Thanks, Jean. Or Jeanne. I'm not sure which it's supposed to be. We're, but we're going with Jean. Oh, would you take a look at that? You did a great job planting those seeds into your plots. Just as you planted those seeds into the ground. So I will plant my seed in you. I don't think you know what you're saying. Who doesn't love the office? That line was improvised. <laughs> it's nice seeing those seeds go back into the ground. It almost feels as if you're planting the seeds of hope. Cool, chick. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to start rambling. And that pretty much sums up the basic steps on how to grow crops. Well, that's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Hmm, Allie, are you okay? You still look a bit tired. You see that house over there? No one is living in it right now, so you're free to use it. I don't think that's how house ownership works. I'm pretty... You know what? I'm 100% sure that's not how house ownership works. As a doctor... Uh, you're not a doctor yet. You said you want to train to become an herbal doctor, so how about you just step back? I suggest you rest for the remainder of the day, and, good, and a good night's sleep will relieve you of your fatigue. Uh, do I have to sleep while you're here? Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Go relax and get some rest. Thanks, nerd. Except for please, I hope you left and did not sit there and watch me. I don't know, this Jean lady is awfully creepy. Um, help, someone help me. I'm being crushed. I can't breathe. Well, let's go whimper. Oh, wait, should I? <laughs> That's the sound I made. Whimper, please. It's starting to hurt, please. You can also just touch the weight of the screen. I can't. Doing nothing. Thanks a lot. Help me. You think that, I mean, like, that is a tiny thing that they could have easily just changed. They put this game out six months ahead of time, and I feel like they should have changed stuff like, uh, oh, yeah. Like, they should have changed things that simple. Thanks to whoever it was who put that weed out. But can you move that stone tablet, too? Got first stone tablet. <gasps> You're so cute and weird. You am saved. Thank you so much. I don't know who you are, but I owe you. Hmm, I'm not sure either. I mean, now that you mention it, I do sense something strange about it. Maybe if you ask someone smart, they might know. There's a lady named Jean. Hey, we know Jean. She's a creeper. That lives to the west of your farm. Maybe she knows something about it. Oh, hello, Ellie. Is something the matter? Oh, hmm, that is an interesting stone tablet you found. <gasps> oh my god, we really need new characters whose voices aren't this high. No, I don't think I've ever seen it. Wait, hold on, I think I might have seen a panel with a similar shape to that tablet over at the lighthouse. I was already there, I already saw it. I already know where I need to put it and it's gonna... Um, oh well. Alright, I figured out the game. Does she have one accent? No, she has all the accents. Isn't it amazing? This lighthouse has been around for a very long time. It has some history. There is even a legend that says a guardian lives up there and shines a light upon the entire island to make it prosper. <coughs> yes, that's right. My family may uh my family have been the keepers of this lighthouse for many a generation. I'm actually the twentieth. But you see, several years ago there was a huge storm, and ever since then the lighthouse stopped working. And I didn't bother to call a repairman because I am very lazy, too busy being an herbal doctor. No matter how hard we try to fix it, liar, it wouldn't, it just wouldn't light up anymore until one day it stopped working altogether. And it was around then that the island began to change. It would make me happy to see its light shine upon Beacon Town once again, but we can't do anything about it. Okay. Until, oh, this magic stranger found this magic thing. That's the panel I was talking about. Maybe you can try placing the tablet into it to see if it fits? No, I was planning on keeping it to put on my wall. Actually, no, I kind of want to keep it to put on my wall. Hmm. Ooh, ah. Amazing. You're welcome, Beacon Town. We, this is the light of hope that we have created. Ah, uh, what is going on? How did the light start out of the lighthouse? Do you think it was the stone tablet? I think it was a stone tablet plus my magic. So you should pay me, I think? I'll get it, because it's the light of hope. 
Oh, look, it's a thing. Oh, great, these two voices are not gonna be great. It's a miracle! I never thought the lighthouse would ever work again. Woo, the land has been revived! <sighs> I forgot what voice I did already. You don't know how happy I am. Thank you so much, Allie. Hey, so, um, I've noticed you keep talking to yourself. Is something wrong? Oh, no, we're crazy. Oh, that's... Oh, no. Ah! Oh, she... Oh, she can't see me. You're actually the only one who can see me here, Allie. So, you might want to whisper when you're talking to me. I decided I'm doing a different voice for Rowan. It's going to be even worse. Mm-hmm. No, I'm a bit worried. Maybe I should have had her checked out at a hospital. Yeah, probably, because you're not even a doctor. At any rate, that was a really bright light, wasn't it? It's all thanks to that stone tablet he found. Shouldn't you have more questions about it? There are four more panels like this. Do you think something will happen if we can find the up? No, nothing's going to happen. I mean, this, you know what? This game is like supposed to be simplistic, and I'm just being annoyed for no reason. Oh, you need to go find the remaining stone tablets. If you do that, I think the Harvest Goddess will be revived. Is this wor is this voice worse or better? I'm gonna go with worse, but we're sticking with it. Please don't show up too often. Oh, Harvest Goddess, I hope she's doing well. Maybe this light from the lighthouse will bring her some hope. The light of hope. Uh, it's the name of the thing in the thing. Hey, that's the name of the show. This is, I mean, like, it's cute so far. Nothing special, nothing terrible. Many winters have come and gone, and still no sign of the tablets. Where are you, Harvest Goddess? If the lighthouse is restored, the Harvest Goddess's powers will return. I must find all the tablets quick. They seem British. We're doing British now. Walking fast, faces past him, I'm homebound, but I'm not, but Oh boy, now this is just a prime example of a lonely, deserted island. What was I thinking? There's no way I could do business here. I'm Sam, just an honest, upstanding, traveling merchant. I know it's pretty dull around here, but hey, don't you worry about it, because I got just the thing for you. Maybe I should do more of like a salesman from the Music Man. Uh, you haven't even looked at it. Come on, let me just show you. So this vase here, it actually fills up with gold every single night. I even know someone who woke up a billionaire. Isn't it crazy? And speaking of crazy, I also have these blankets that will cure any disease just by sleeping on them. How about that, Allie? Doesn't it pique your interest? Well, darn, that's a shame. You're missing out. I'll be honest here, I'd love to get back into business on this island, but my shop was destroyed by that storm. So, now we're in charge of fixing everyone's problems. I mean, maybe if I still have my shop. If we build your shop, you better give us everything for free. Holy moly, did you just offer to fix my shop up? I don't think I did. Well, who am I to refuse? I'd be eternally grateful. He's... Hmm... Help! Hey, Allie, you're gonna help fix up his shop. That's perfect. I'm all for it. But you'll need wooden materials to do that, uh, to do the repairs, and to do that, you'll need an axe. I should have chosen an easier voice. An axe, Don. I just ran out. But here's an idea. Go as Jean. She can probably tell you where to where you can get one. An axe, an axe. Hmm. I think Naomi had one, right? She's still on the island. Cutscene time. Hmm. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Hey, you there. What do you think you're doing here? No, Naomi is my mom. My name is Sally. I should have used the squeaky voice of her, but it's too late. You want to borrow our axe? Okay, uh, what kind of weirdo just shows up at our house and says they want to borrow an axe? Stranger <laughs> danger! I agree. I'm not comfortable with strangers around my house. Can you please leave? You might be able to befriend her if you bring her some bamboo shoots. Yes, small child. I know that you don't like strangers, but what if I give you something that you like? Would you then give me a murder weapon? Perhaps? And let me into your house while you're there by yourself? What kind of logic is this? And that one. There's nothing creepy about this. Nothing creepy at all. We're just an adult. Going to bribe a small child. What's wrong with you? You're acting very suspiciously. Are you about to give me a bamboo shoot by opening your bag, slanting the bamboo shoot, and then talking to me? Oh my god! I doubt it, but if you have trouble finding items, use the LR buttons. That's obnoxious. Or use the cursor to change tabs. Wait, why did I just say all that? That's a good question, Sally. Are you aware that you're just a character in a game and you only exist when I interact with you? Because if so, that's trippy and explains why you're so cranky. 
Uh, just because you gave me a bamboo shoe doesn't mean I can lend you our axe. That's way too dangerous. I mean, who are you anyway? I'm Allie. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a random stranger, still, child. So your name's Allie, huh? You're new to this island and you want to start a farm, is that right? God, my boys. And how am I supposed to believe you? Show me some proof. What kind of proof do I show you, weirdo? Oh, I know. Since you're claiming to have a farm, bring me some of those crops you grew on this farm of yours. She just wants free food. That can be your proof. I promise to believe you if you bring that to me. She just wants free food, and I admire that. What a tenacious child. Excellent. She's freaking scamming me out of my cabbages. My cabbages! God, I cannot believe it's taken that long for me to uh, yell an avatar quote. Wow, they're cabbages! They're really real cabbages! I actually... I expected these to be plastic cabbages that I just put there to make myself look cool. Well, great. Now I need to go give a cabbage to a child who's definitely 100% scamming me, and I love it. Like, I love her. I love her. Still hope after we do this, like, I mean, uh, okay, for, for my convenience, I would like her to, like, let us in her house and have her axe. But, like, I think I will respect her character a lot more if she's like, ha, <laughs> sucker, thanks for the cabbage. Oh, we just get in her house now. Ooh, this is so creepy. There you are, finally. So did you bring proof? Oh, do we have a visitor? Oh, hey, Mom, you're home. Yes, yes, Sally, I just got back. And who might you be? What voice is this again? Allie, is that right? And I'm not at all worried or concerned about the fact that I found you alone in my house with my child. Not concerned about that at all. I see. And she wanted some of your crops as proof that you live here? But look at that! They look so fresh and delicious. Don't you agree, Sally? Well... You never know. She could have just stolen them from someone else's farm. I like Sally being suspicious. <laughs> oh, Sally, please. I haven't seen a cabbage this big on the island since the big storm. Which means that this cabbage was indeed grown by her very own hands. Tell me if you think I'm wrong. Well, I mean, I guess you're right. Good kid, question everything. Are you sure about that? Well... Of course I'll take it, and in return, I'll make you a delicious meal using this fresh cabbage. Great. Oh, wait, Mom, I really don't think that's a great idea. My mom's cooking is absolutely terrible. I don't even know what half the ingredients are most of the time. Oh, you just want to borrow our axe? Of course you can. It's I'm never returning it. It's mine for forever. Actually, I want you- Yes, there it is! I want you to have it. Let's say it's my token of gratitude for this wonderful cabbage you've given us. It's kind of small, and it's been used quite a bit, but I'm sure you can cut down softwood trees with it. Well, thank you very much, Naomi. Why is it- He better be reimbursing me that 100G. We did that- Look at how pretty it is. All we had to do was swing an axe at it, you lazy turd! Once there's more people backing down, I'll be sh I'm sure it'll be bustling busy like it once used to be. Oh, right. Before I forget, he has a little something in return for fixing up my shop. Better be a lot of money. Great. It's another stone... T <sighs> I want to give you this... I want to give you the stone tablet. It's actually a very precious treasure that brings fortune to your household. Well, I'm going to go... I'm going to guess that you stole it from in front of the lighthouse, and it's kind of part of why we got the problem there, bud. <laughs> Even though I just found it on the island, and I'm honestly not sure why it's precious, but anyway. Woo! Uh, well, I'm glad you like it. Hey, as long as you're happy, right? Anyway, I sure get going. See you around. I cannot do a consistent character voice to save my life. Well, I still have work to do at home, so I'll excuse myself. Let me know if you need any other help. Thanks for nothing because you didn't help me. She didn't, she didn't help me. Kid, con. Oh, you're back. Great, now I gotta do your voice. Oh, well, can I see that stone tablet? I, I know where it goes. Exactly as I saw, as I thought. See the shape? It looks just like the pin of the lighthouse. We have to go there. 
You know, my dinner plate's the same shape as that, so should I just bring all my dinner plates there too? Hmm? Hmm. Well, this is strange. Why didn't anything happen? Can it be that the tablet didn't have enough energy? That's a possibility. What freaking energy was in the first one? You see, the energy in the stone tablets comes from nature itself. Hmm, nature. Oh, uh, I'm getting dizzy from thinking too much. My head's gonna explode. Sorry to see you go. <coughs> Maybe if the number of people in town increases, the more power will return to the lighthouse. This is a very, very demanding lighthouse. First, I have to find all these mystical, magical stone tablets that could be anywhere. And next, I have to rebuild its entire town. That is expecting a little too much. Lighthouse, what have you done for me lately? Nothing. Nothing. Ella, you need to repair more buildings so more people will return to the town. I'll do my best to help you. And we're going to end our video there. Comment below and let me know what you thought about Harvest Moon. I'm definitely going to put out another video or two, but whether or not this turns into one of my regular series is completely up to you guys. Here are my general first impressions of the game. Honestly, overall it exceeded my expectations. That's probably because I set my expectations very, very low. When I saw the graphics that they were using in the trailer, I wasn't sure I was going to buy this game at all. It did not look good. I mean, the character models are very, very cute, don't get me wrong, but... The graphics look like they were taken from that old Facebook game, Farmville, which might actually still exist. I don't know, but the, it just, they don't look great. And the thing is, they put this game out six months ahead of schedule. Six months. They could have used that time to make the game look better. The thing is, I don't think I've seen anything so far that justifies the $30 price tag. It is a very cute farming simulator, but there's there's nothing that makes it stand out or makes it extraordinary. With competition like Stardew Valley and what most people consider to be the actual spiritual successor to this game series, Story of Seasons, it, it just needs to do better to make itself stand out. Again, it's very early, so I'm hoping it'll just prove itself to be worth the $30 as I keep playing. I did like the up close, like the talking shots of our characters. Those facial expressions were very cute and very silly. I also liked that we automatically, like when you're farming and doing whatever, you automatically switch to what tool you want. I love that because as much as I love Stardew Valley, it really frustrated me when I accidentally still had like my hoe equipped and then I would try to till the ground and then I accidentally uh, killed the seeds that were there. So that was always a bit of a bummer. So that feature has completely eliminated that mistake, which is fantastic for me. And I am very interested to meet all the rest of the characters and see how the story unfolds. If I was giving this game a numerical rating as of right now, with the very little that I've seen, it would just probably be a six out of 10. I feel like that might be a little bit harsh because I, I'm just judging it based on such a short amount of playing. This is a score that is definitely gonna change as the game continues. It's not a bad game, it's just not impressive. If you agree with that rating, disagree with it, either way, let me know. And before you go, make sure you comment below with your ideas for AKA intros, and I might choose yours in a future video. Thank you to Christopher Ayer, Ayer, who submitted the idea I used for this one. Hey now, you're an all-star, get your game on, go play. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm going to have the next video out very, very soon, so I will see you then.